Hi and welcome to Unit 4, Topic 3, Video 5. And in this video we're going to look at another example of a Hungarian algorithm question. This one has absolutely no context. We've got A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, which of course means that N equals 4 in our definition from an earlier video where we talked about how to use the Hungarian algorithm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through this and I'll be working mm, a little bit oddly down and up and down and up, but I'll try and make it clear to you. Okay, so the Hungarian algorithm will often take maybe three, four, five steps. So let's start with this one, and then I'm going to draw a line underneath, make it clear where the separation is, and I'll set up my A, B, C, and D, one, two, three, and four, and we'll start going a little bit smaller. So first we have to do a row reduction, step one. So we look at each row, we find our minimum in each row, we subtract it from each other value and itself, and we should end up with at least one zero in every row, and then we're going to have a look at um, a column reduction in step two. So 18 is my minimum value in row A. So I'm going to subtract 18 from all of them. I get 2, 0, 0, 0. And 19 is my minimum in row B. So I'm going to subtract 19 from all of them, which gives me 2, 0, 3, 3. And 18 is my minimum in row um, C. So I'm going to subtract 18, giving me 5, 0, 3, 4. And then 19 is my minimum here, which gives me 1, 0, 4, 1. Okay, so I've done my row reduction. Now over here, and again I'm going to sort of set up some columns, I'm going to do my next level, which will be A, B, C, D, and 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to do a column reduction. So first I look at column 1, and I reduce it by the lowest value, which is 1. So each of them gets reduced by 1, 1, 1, 4, 0. There's a whole bunch of zeros in column 2, so that just stays a 0, 0, 0, 0. Here we've got a 0, so that remains the same. 3, 3, 4. And here I've got a 0, so that remains the same. 0, 3, 4, 1. Now I've done my row reduction, column reduction. I go to step 3 and I consider, can I cover this with less than n? straight lines, and n is 4 in this case. Now I can see here, there's a bit of logic, I can see that I can cover it with a straight line there, a straight line there, and a straight line here. Now this is my first opportunity to really point out to you what I mean by uncovered, single covered, or double covered. So you can see this A2 cell is double covered. It's got two lines over the top of it. And D2 cell is also double covered. So when it comes to adding on the minimum, that's going to occur there. Whereas the B1, C1, they're uncovered, and then these cells here, they're single covered cells. So we've got a whole bunch of different variations. So what I need to do is find my minimum, and I'm going to circle it. In this case, my minimum is 1. So I circle the 1, and now I'm going to go through and add the 1 to my double covered. So I'm just going to set it up first. A, B, C, D. 1, 2, 3, 4. And oh, I don't know why I've done one there, but anyway, I've done one there now. Whoops, okay, um, so my double cover ones are A2, I'm going to add one to that, it's 1, and D2, that's also gone up to 1 now. And then I've, my, my 1 is my minimum, so I'm subtracting it from my uncovered ones. So my uncovered ones are B1, which is 0, because 1 minus 1 is 0. C1 is 4, so I subtract 1 to get 3. 3 minus 1 is 2, so I get 2, 2, 2, and 3. And the rest of the cells that I've got left over there, they're the single covered ones. So I do nothing to those. So I get 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 1. Then I ask myself the question again, can I cover this in less than 4, in less than n lines? So I'm looking, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. It's starting to get mixed up now. So the chances are it's probably not. Um, now what I can see is I can wipe out those two they're actually the only two zeros in this, these two columns, which means that I can do this and this. And I've done it. I've managed to cover them all. So I'm going to have to do it one more time, and I'll try and squeeze it in below here so I can save this for my bipartite graph. Maybe I have to do it more, in which case I'm completely ruined and I'll have to rub out the board and start again. But let's see how we go. Um, so I've got my double covered here and here, single covered, and then I've got my uncovered. My minimum uncovered is one, so let's go to work. A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
Um, so one, I'm going to add it on to my double coverage to give me two and two. I'm going to leave those ones the same, zero and zero. I'm going to leave all these ones the same, zero, three, zero, 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 one. And then these ones here, I'm going to subtract it from. So I get one, 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 two, three, zero. I'll go back to step three. Can I cover this in less than N straight lines? So I'm going to do this thing again. I can cross out those two. Is that, a, is that a good thing to do? I think it is. Now, this one's by itself in that row, but if I go like that, I'll cross out an extra one. Uh, there's not much I can do now. It seems to me like I have to use four lines. So there's not much I can do. And going through that um, with, a, with a really rhythmic method, making sure I'm systematic, and I can see here that there's no way I can do it in three or less. So now I'm onto my bipartite graph. So I get over here and I've got A, B, C, and D. One, two, three, and four. And I do my connections. So A has got zeros against three and four. So I do that. And B has got zeros against one and two. So I do that. And C has got zeros just against two. So I do that. And D has got zeros against one and four. So I do that. So I'm going to start with C, because C is the obvious one. I could start with 3 as well, which can only be A. But C has to match to 2. And then that means that B can't match to 2. So B has to match to 1. And that means that D can't match to 1. So D has to match to 4. And that, of course, means that A has to match to 3. And so there's my allocation, my matching. And now I can use that to determine a minimum of whatever this context is. Hope you can see me through here. A minimum for whatever this context is. So I'll write down next to the C. C matches to 2, that's 18. And B matches to 1, that's 21. And D matches to 4, that's 20. And A matches to 3, which is 18. Got all those right, haven't I? Yep. And when I add all those up, I get 40, 50, 60, 70, 6, 77 gives me an overall minimum of 77. And that is the best I can do because I've correctly followed the Hungarian algorithm. All the best.